Welcome to another Gibbs Cam video. Today we're going to show you how to use 2.5D and using the profiler, specifically the profiler. Now if you just have solids import, it does not come with a profiler. If you have the 2.5D or 3D solid surfacer, it does come with a profiler and it is right here. Now if you look at the drop down menu, you will see you have slice, spun body, silhouette, slice silhouette, and slice cylinder. So here I have my part here that I want to machine. And we want to pull the geometry off there. Of course we could always just click on the top face here and pull it off there, but let's say we need to pull it down inside here to get the profile of the insides and outsides, etc. So if I just click on the top one here, slice plane, you can see it brings up a grid. You can grab this grid with your mouse and you can drag it anywhere along there. And when you let go, it automatically slices the part at that Z level. You can also right click and say, go to a certain depth. You can also alt click that and have it go to wherever you'd like it to. Or you can put in whatever you'd like to put in there. And as you can see, it brings it up to that uh, section there. Now, if you want to extract the geometry, which is what I usually like to do, you can machine it directly from here if you like. For instance, if I just bring up my cam palette here and with my tool and I just click on the inside here and click on do it, you will see I have a tool path. So same with the outside and it automatically well, well, it knows that it's going to cut the outside on here because it's a solid body. So the only thing it's going to ask you is if you want a climb mill or conventional mill. And if I click on do it, you'll see I have the profile there. But you can also uh, extract the geometry off there. You can extract the geometry off of just one edge just by clicking on it. And you can go extract profile. If I turn off the profiler, you can see that. Let's just delete that, bring the profiler back. Or you can right click on the grid and say select all profiles, click on do it, hide the profiler and there's all the geometry there. Of course you can force this depth, whatever you'd like to do. So that's one way on how to use the profiler. Now another way, let's get rid of all this first. Let's bring up a different part here. Put this one away. Now, as you can see, this one would be very hard to do using just the profiler. As you can see, if I drag it here, if I want to, for instance, cut the periphery of this part, you can see if I drag it there, it's going to there. If I drag it down a little bit, uh, it misses that. If I drag it down farther, it misses those. So there's not really a good solution using the profiler. So, you go to the next menu, actually the third menu down, it's called Slice Silhouette. So what that'll do is it'll uh, like give us a profile if, the, if you're looking at it from the top of the part. So I'm just going to drag this to the very bottom, or I could actually just tell it to go to a certain depth, say minus an inch. And then you can see there's the profile of the part. So let's extract the geometry off that. Turn off my slice silhouette, and if I go to a top view, you will see there's my periphery to cut the part. Works very nice. Again, if you wanted to do just certain sections, you could click it up there. If you want to just get this section up here, again, you can right click and say, I want to go to this depth there, or I want to go to this depth there or anywhere in between. Profiler works really well. But a lot of people don't know about the slice silhouette and that makes it much easier when you when you have lots of different uh, cutouts and things like that on the part. So let's do um, a lathe part now. So far we've shown you mill parts. Now let's turn over to a lathe part. So I'll close this and open up my uh, lathe part. Actually, before I dive into the lathe part, let's show you one more thing. Let's put this away and bring up just a sphere. 
So let's say we want to machine around the outside of this sphere there. Okay. So under the geometry palette, we also have a box that's called geometry from solids. If you click on that, you have a number of choices there. This is just for holes, things like this. But let's say we want to do the outline of a part. If I click on my part and click here. That's going to find the outermost diameter of this part, for instance. So again, we could extract the geometry off of that. Actually, we have the geometry off that already. Sorry, we're not using the profiler. So there's the geometry to cut the periphery of something like that. All right, now we'll switch over to the lathe. So here I have a lathe part. This is, of course, threaded. And I have some undercuts here, holes on the outside here with some flats and holes on the front. Well, if we just do a slice, for instance, you can you can do the slice by going up to the plugins and using slice. So if you go to plugins don't, and go down to where it says get section, it says please select a solid. Okay, let's select the solid, get section again, and we'll just leave the defaults there. And you can see it's did exactly what we told it to it sliced the uh, body but for turning this would not be very good because of course the tool is going to want to dive down in there so you have to do a lot of cleanup on here uh, things like that so the better solution let's get rid of that the better solution would be to come up to the profiler and click on slice spun body now what that'll do is it'll uh, spin the body in the background and give you the outer shape as if you were using a turning tool. So as you can see, there's the outer boundaries of the part, ignoring the flats. And again, if you want, you could machine it directly from here, or you could just extract the profile, turn off the slice spun body, and there you have the spun outline of the part. Now another good way to use the profiler is if you want to do cut the hexes and things in the XY plane. So if we switch over to the XY plane and again turn on just the standard slice plane and we drag this back say right here there we could extract the geometry right off there. You could also use I'll bring this up a little closer you could extract it there but maybe even better would be to use the slice uh, silhouette. So if we use the slice silhouette, go down to here, just drag our, you could actually leave it right there if you want, or you could pull it back a little bit farther there. And there's, extract that geometry. Let's get rid of that. Turn off our silhouette. And you can see now that's that was the uh, outer periphery of the hex there. So the 2.5D profiler works really well. And you can machine directly off that. If I want to drive an end mill across this, you just select it and you're ready to go. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.